Suppose we say as private secretary. Well, speaking as your private secretary, I would say that the city will have to pay for it. So don't stint yourself. Do it well. Exactly. As the city will have to pay for it, that is your advice. As private secretary. Of course, you will realize that as Chancellor of the Exchequer, it is my duty to see that due economy is observed. Oh, but just now you said it. Don't stint yourself. Do it well. Well, that was as your private secretary. And now you say due economy must be observed. As Chancellor of the Exchequer. I see. Who are you, the Chancellor can't hear us? <laughs> now then, as my solicitor, how do you advise me to deal with this difficulty? Oh, Mr. Solicitor, I would have no hesitation in saying chances. Thank you. I will. If it were not that, as Lord Chief Justice, I am bound to see that the law isn't violated. I see. Who are you, the Lord Chief Justice? <laughs> now then, as First Lord of the Treasury. Well, as First Lord of the Treasury, I could propose a special vote that would cover all expenses. If it were not, then, as leader of the opposition, it would be my duty to resist it tooth and nail. <laughs> or, as paymaster general, I could so cook the accounts that as Lord High Auditor, I would never discover the fraud. <laughs> Although, as Archbishop of Titipu, it would be my duty to denounce myself for my dishonesty and give myself into my own custody as First Commissioner of Police. That's extremely awkward. Well, I don't say none of these individuals couldn't be squared, but it would be right to tell you that they wouldn't be sufficiently degraded in their own estimation, unless insulted by a very considerable bribe. The matter shall have my careful consideration. And any small compliment on your part, such as an after grovel and a characteristic Japanese attitude, to be esteemed a favor. No money, no grovel. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.